this is what if Deku was half Viltr half Kryptonian, half Viltramite. Now the way this is gonna work is this is gonna be Deku. This is going to be Deku when he's slightly older. Or if you want to, this is j actually you know what? This is gonna be Deku's older brother. He has two. You might be wondering why do you give the main character two older brothers? Well, that's not even the least of it. This is one of them. These are all his sisters. This is his mother. Well, it's still Inko, but she's wearing this all the time as her hero costume. Invincible is his brother, and Omni-Man is his father. Now you're thinking, dude, you're just ripping characters out of it, aren't you? Well, kinda. These are just the names that everyone took. Like, this actually looks like his father, not just Omni-Man. So, yeah. And... Yeah, this is his brother. Like, his brother chose this costume. His mom chose this costume, as it was Kryptonian. And that's why the sisters all chose the costume. He doesn't really care about any of it, so... Well, he did take this Kryptonian symbol of Superman. He's got an Omni patch on, on one side of his arm. He's got the Super symbol on one, Omni on the other. And this is Deku. And if he turned around, it'd be an O. For Omni-Man on his back. Well, I was debating that, actually. So, the way it happened was... While they are the powerhouse couple... Like, there's nothing that can stop them. Because they are married at this point. But, like, the reason it was is because... Well, the, well, the Kryptonians were fighting the... Like, Viltrumites for years... And that's because in this version they have a plan. They are have a they have a son that makes them superhuman, it's like super like powerful. It makes them like Superman, this Superman. But instead, Deku could have looked like this, but now he's gonna look like this because it's epic, way more epic. Now, the reason I'm putting him this is that how in how in invincible. He wanted to kill the f the full planet, and that would not change anything. Well, he's well. The father still has that task, but when he can't, he wound up betraying. And what I mean is that All Might, Endeavor, and Supergirl are very powerful. I'm thinking All Might would get stomped out, Endeavor just gets blown out like a candle, and Supergirl has the best shot, and she's still gonna probably lose. Well, no, because Superman alone. Is the sh would be stronger than every Viltrumite. Not all together. Like, no way all together. But, like, individually stronger than every Viltrumite. And it would take, like, a group of four to stop him. But, like, that would have to be strong Viltrumites of a group of four. Now, I will be flipping through these pictures recently. Oh, by the way. Uh, if you look in here, in the background, there is Superman. Well, technically, I can't really zoom in above... I've try I'm trying very much so, so but I can't really do it. That's gonna be the costume that Deku has at his disposal. If he wanted to go towards the Kryptonian side of things. And his seven sisters are all waiting for him too. Like they're very being very stubborn about it. His mother is on a would rather him be Kryptonian kind of because he still hasn't awakened his powers until he's three. And his brother is like, I really don't care. I have, I'm more Viltrumite, and that's what I got. And y'all are more Kryptonian powered, but everything's fine. Now, if you're thinking, why is it so unbalanced? Why is it mainly like Kryptonian instead of the Omni power instead of the uh, Viltrumite? Well, that's because Omni Man, sad, sad, sad Omni Man, he's weaker than. Kryptonians. They're weaker than Kryptonians. That's why Kryptonians' power is usually overpower. Now, Invincible, he was a special case. He did get... He got the laser vision, but that's about all. Actually, no. He only got the powers from, like, Viltrumites, but he still got a few, like, perks of Kryptonian. Like, he can slightly throw laser vision. It's just difficult for him to throw much of it. He can slightly do, like, breathing of ice. And then he can slightly do, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, um, uh, what it, was it again? Oh, yeah, looking in x-ray vision. 
Now, she's been teaching... Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, Inko slash Supergirl has been teaching all the do all of her daughters about how to fight properly. Now, they're all heroes. Yes, they're all heroes. That makes a little sense. So, there is eight beings on this planet that just, like, seem... Well, nine of them that are strong enough to put on a fight against All Might. And two, that would absolutely stomp out All Might. But, when that fight came happening, Anima had to apologize, saying he would have to fight his family if he had to. Knowing he would lose the fight, but he still fought until he was bloody and beaten. Until the point where he was laying passed out on the ground. And Invincible jumped in, saying, Hey, what's going on? He needed to hear what was happening. His mother told him everything. His father said, that's true. And then flew off planet because of how kind it was. Cause she could have easily just taken him and just smashed him into a jail cell. But then said, if he wanted to, he could crush the planet. So it's a better choice not to give him the chance. He came back a month later. Deku would ask where his parent, where his father was. And they said, well, he's out on a business trip. On a business trip. Now Deku, he's oddly powerful. They noted that even without his powers awakened, he's been able to throw a punch that could send us flying, would send some of us flying. And they know his powers haven't awakened since the thing they do is they take him up to a high altitude, they drop him, and if he flies, then that's he flies. If not, they each have this thing where they're all around him to grab him. Now, Supergirl would usually stop this, but sometimes they wind up getting through and saying, it's okay. And Deku, he's trained his physical body like he was Batman or something. And that's kind of his specialty. Now, the only reason I give, like, Deku, like, an invincible all that chance against this. Now, they have this thing. Even with Omni-Man there... They barely could match up with the daughters alone. While the while Omni Man is way stronger than his daughters, he's not as strong as his wife. Like they're dead stalemates in strength, because it takes like one usually Kryptonian to take down like two to three Vol Voltramites. Now the reason why it's not going to be that way for these two is because she's a weaker Kryptonian, and he's a really strong Voltramite. That's the only reason. Now, I wouldn't give him much chance against a fight. Like, it'd be a dead stalemate for a while, and then someone would have to step in and stop it. Now, we have the whole older brothers Deku has. The oldest one being right here. The second child being this one. Well, actually, no. The second child would be, uh... Let me see. The second one would probably be this one up here. The one that's with the white and just red cape. The second would I'd probably give it to the girl with headband. Then maybe this one right here. The one that you can fully see. Maybe this one, then this one, then this one. Then I'm going to say that they had this one a few years. And then they went a while without having kids. Because they're around, well, not really a while, just a few years. Since he's only two years older than Deku. And then we have Deku, who looks like this. He's big as his older brother. He, one of his older brothers, not the oldest of the older two. Now, he can keep a hand-to-hand -hand combat with any of them. What he can't is when they wind up throwing a super punch that could blow up like a moon. Because they're just really powerful. And he hates dealing with them when they wind up getting in sore losing things. Because he has to jump backwards and hope that they don't wind up swinging at him. Because his best shot is to dodge, dodge, and dodge and wait for someone to help him. And his family's training drills are just torture to him. Now, a month later, Omni-Man came back. Deku's still just a little kid, so this is before any of that happened. He said, hey... I know y'all don't like seeing me, but I betrayed them. I've led them throughout the universe in different planets that were unhospitable. 
hoping they'd get taken down. It's not working, I need y'all's help. Y'all have ties to Krypton. If I went there, I'd be instantly slaughtered. Please. No, we're not getting the Kryptonians involved. They're still at a war, raging on at the very moment. Yeah, it doesn't help that our power that we outnumber you ten to one. Probably doesn't help that we outpower you ten to one. Yeah, except for the fact y'all really don't. It takes four of us regulars to take on one of you regular. Really. Oh, you really want to try that? Well, I mean, it's not wrong. With Omni powers, we are stronger. What do you mean? Well, you'll have more power ups, so power up things where, like, you have more powers than we do, so of course you'd have more winning power. Alright, and what would you do if you had laser vision, x ray vision? And. Ice breath. Because I rarely use those in a fight against you. And then Deku saying, hey, uh, something's happening. And it was right when his father got home that his power seemed to awaken. As he was just gonna... He was helping take out the trashes, even though he was a little kid he wanted to help. He accidentally yeeted it into space when he tried putting it in the dumpster. That was because his older brother said, sure, man, you can do it. And then he, when he picked up the bag, he just went into this space and they both and they all three rushed him in saying hey his powers awakened and this was because one of his older sisters was helping and both of his brothers were doing it because it was a large amount of trash because it's like a large family now you might be wondering seven sisters two brothers and him that's a lot they have to be years apart not really because they were triplets. Triplets. Now the way I, like you might be wondering, what? Well, you see, there's him, the oldest of them. Well, the oldest of them, her, then him, then triplet, then him, then triplet. Yeah, it's odd. And then you have the, and then there's this their mother and their father are both powerhouses which is the only people who can stop them now Deku over the years has like seemed to be a huge fan of all the like the super and the omni team because there's like a team of super and a team of omni like there's the super brigade which is what they're called because they always go now they are known for being actually a family one big family of supers and no one's stopping, but no one knew they were aliens except for All Might, Endeavor, and a handful of heroes like Aizawa. Now, eventually, some bad stuff happens that they have to fight. That would be because of the whole betrayal thing. There is eight... There is... I'm gonna say twelve full-powered Viltrumites flying to Earth at that moment. And even with all of them combined, and even though there are only eight, there's only twelve. There's twelve of them. Note they have a one up on the family. Well, yeah, there's nine kids. No, ten, including Deku. Wait, no, yeah, seven plus three. That's ten. Well, they have an equivalent number of people, but Deku hasn't really awakened his powers fully yet. So. All he has is this for gear. Now you might be wondering, are those metal things in his gloves? And is that a, just a metal bell buckle? Yes. Now you might be wondering, isn't that just going to shatter on impact against whoever he's punching? No. Mainly because the metal in his, in his gloves are called vibranium. From Captain America's shield. Kind of vibranium. At least that's what I was thinking of doing, but no, they're actually just heavy grade metal. Like, you could break and shatter titanium with this. It is in... Each of this has, like, the density of a planet. And the weight of one, sadly, because he's super powerful, but no one else can in the family can move his, move his stuff. 
And this will shatter eventually and he won't replace it. Now Deku gets into it. Now he has to wear these gloves because they're like his like weakening clothes. And the belt buckle does the same. Like it's all saps his power enough to where it won't like, crush everything. Now his brother, he's a special case. That spikes everywhere. And it's not an easy fight to win. His sisters, there's just too many of them to fight because if it's a one fight, they all go against him. Now, they've, they've had a boys versus girls match before, and it didn't go well. Because, like, yes, Omni-Man was able to keep up with Supergirl. Invincible was able to hold off a few of them. He was able to keep up with the top one and a few others, but then that left, uh... Still like three, well two to three, ready to punch Deku. <laughs> well, even if we just said two, this was before Deku fully had gained powers, so he's outmatched by a lot. Now, I will say this. He's not an easy person to fight. So anyway, let's get back into it. Um, we have Deku, who had instead of being bullied by everyone because they know who his parents are everyone knows who his parents are no one's going to f bakugo is the only one with balls and of steel to fight him and that's barely anything as he throws an explosion at deku even like with a bottle of like he's taking like a jar and sweating it for like three full like to fill it up i was gonna say three full days but i'm not sure if that would fill it up so he just did until it was full, completely. And then he lit it up. Like, he dumped it on... Like, he threw it at Deku. And, like, th and made it explode in his face. Like, it was liquid. Like, it sprayed all over his face when it blew up. It would have killed the average human. And this would have used... And this is a bomb strong enough to take a plant... Take a small building down. But, instead, all it did was be able to scratch Deku... And then you hear a boom, every one of the super family goes there in an instant. They called, because Deku had a nosebleed. And they're wondering, uh, wait, what? Because Deku had just awakened his powers at the, age of at the age of four. And he's already able to pick up a truck, and take a punch, and take a fight to fight, fight to fight, thing in a one-on-one. -on -one. So, they're confused on how is that possible. Well, it just is. Now, being the youngest in a family of super-powered monstrous people is crazy. Now, they all have the Viltr- They all have, like, Kryptonian and Viltrumite, like, almost infinite life. That's why the Kryptonians and Viltrumites have been fighting for years upon years. Hop off, Frisky. Sorry about that, my cat started jumping on me. So we have them barely taking any losses, but almost winning everything. So it's very hard for them to even get hurt, but they still occasionally find a way. And that's usually because the because none of the villains, like even the strongest ones have been like, are you crazy? I'm not going there. Because that's why they stay away from like anywhere that the super family seems to be. And they all seem to be right there in that one town. And even All Might's there half the time. And even Endeavor's there because his kid lives there. What's going on? Like, they're the strongest. Even every villain alive couldn't stop them. Or so you think. There are evil Kryptonians. And evil Viltrumites who don't really want Conqueror. They wanted to hide. And they found Earth. And there's a handful of them. They just use their powers to rob banks, attack people, and see what happens. They're just, they're just messed up people. They don't want to conquer the planet. They just want to hurt everything. Thing is, they figured out real quick that's a bad idea when multiple Krypton... When, like, seven Kryptonian chicks jump in saying, let's go. And it's like, um, what? Because there was, like, three Kryptonian dudes and... Two Four, like Kryptonian and four Voltramite people like they were like all spread out 
They had ju they were just robbing a bank for the fun of it. See what happens. See if they could punch out any heroes who wanted to stop them. Just because it'd be funny. Then these super people show up in a group of seven. Because they're like a team of heroes. Like just the girl power of super. And then Supergirl shows up. Which is Deku's mom. And starts like fighting. They have an 8v7. And they call the rest of their team. There's only three more Kryptonians. And three more Viltrumites. Now you might be thinking, that's a pretty big number of people. Yes. Because they just didn't want to fight that. They just wanted to hurt people. That's because they were villains, all of them, who got let loose in a fight on a prison at a prison. Well, it wasn't really at a prison. It just busted into the prison. Everyone escaped and ran away as fast as they could to a new planet. And they wound up all grouping up. And I'm thinking, why are Kryptonians and Viltrumites stored in the prisons together? They weren't. They found each other on the way. So the fight just took over both through both planets. There was times when the Viltrumites got released, times when the Kryptonians got released. Like, it was crazy. It's like, the power levels, too. Even the strongest Viltrumites have trouble fighting Kryptonians. That's the only reason they're so... They are, haven't conquered Kryptonia yet. They still have... Because they have a small numbers advantage. But they have a really, really big strength disadvantage. Now, we get into the fight fully where these 12 Viltrumites go to try killing uh, Omni-Man. They meet him when he is training with his sons. It is just him, 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 and him. Now, this is middle school. Deku. So he's this big, yes, but he's not like super powered yet. He can keep up with his family, but he's not stronger than them quite yet. But he does train every single day just to be able to beat them. And he's managed it too. Like he's managed to take down his brother, this one and the other one. He's never managed to take down his father. Then again, none of them have. He was the closest one to it. And that was when he was that was when he had full powered maxed out stood in the sun for an hour. Yeah, he stood there for a full hour waiting with his power building up. And that barely did it. And that only came close to beating him barely. If you're wondering, hey, isn't that way too much time and aren't Viltrumites supposed to be weak? Well Yes, but the fact that he was that he's the strongest Viltrumite makes a difference. Usually it's all determined by strength, but, well, they were the el there was the elders who actually run it. They're older and strong enough to keep up. Like, he's only barely the strongest. And that's mainly because of his training with his kids that make him the strongest. So I wouldn't really give it to anyone else. So, yeah. And I would not think it'd be crazy powerful, but yes. They can. So we have, like, the Viltrumites done-and-done done thing, and the Kryptonians done-and-done done kind of thing. So we get to, like, the one a hero exam because, like, they just stomp them out. Like, it was a 4 versus 12, and it still wasn't enough. Mainly because these might be weaker Viltrumites, but they can one -on They all have the power to one-on-one, -on -one, like, Omni-Man. Now, thanks to Invincible... And him, they said they told Deku to to run and get their parent to get their mom and everyone else, which oddly enough, all that took was like them all huddling around Deku, fighting ready, and throwing a beacon up that was like a call to them. It had a frequency just so Superman, Super Kryptonians and Viltrumites could hear it because of how powerful it was. So it was beep. Boom. They all got annoyed and just went there saying that's an emergency, a family emergency. They all blast forward. And the scariest thing is when that happens. Is that they're right behind them. Like a hair from being at their throats. And they did. They managed it. They put a hole directly 
in the fighting brick thing that they were trying to do. They tried making a wall to protect Deku for a minute. And then it was just a 4 versus 12. So you can imagine how 3v1s go. But luckily Deku was strong enough where he had the plan. He said, everyone, remember fighting our sisters? Yes, why are you thinking about it? Well, I have a plan. Alright, what is it? Let's do the thing we did whenever she got really, really mad. Oh, yeah. And it's like, come on. <sighs> they all started charging forward. And they were keeping up. Like, these, the, the Viltrumites were like hairs behind them. And they were like, like, slicing at the toes. Barely not hitting them. Now, they were like, always really close. But then Omni-Man said, running isn't going to do anything. That's why we're not running. What? I said, follow me. And then they started just spinning round and round in circles. And then the Krypton and then the Kryptonian sisters get there. Boom and boom. And then you just hear, time's up. Everyone turns, they turn their head confused like, who do you think you... As, boom, she just punched so hard, one of them got sent flying into Mount Everest. Then, all of them just started catching every one of them off guard. Like, they went from, like, three versus one to being a full-on fight. Now, Deku can 1v1 them, but he noticed it's really difficult. Since the only one who's fully, like, really, really stronger than them is their mom, and she's just wailing on one. And when it just, when that one just hits the floor, everything happens. And then they just kind of said, kill me. And they said, die on your own time. Then Omni-Man had, then they all kind of like did a self-destruct thing they have to do. So they'd rather die than deal with that. So they all kind of charged away. Deku got into 1A. Got one, didn't really need one for all, so he gave it to Mineta and trained with Mineta so he would actually be a challenge. And Mineta actually got up to where he was strong enough to keep up with Deku when Deku wasn't trying. So Deku is basically just going through everything as if it was a piece of cake. If there's every, like the USJ, he slaps the no, he punches the Nomo so hard it flies into space and then catches it and punches it back down. So it's completely out of the game. Shigaraki just got smacked right before he was about to get to get to take in the handcuffs on. Boom. Portaled. And all that wasn't even needed since Deku just won the fight entirely on his own. But then there was the whole thing about them failing. And they sent two, their entire army of 400 Viltrumites there at the same time. It looked grim. But then they noted All Might's still fine. Minette is stronger than All Might now. And there's still Kryptonian. So they called the Kryptonians as the way end up. Since instead of like. They didn't really need anything since like the whole. So they all wound up fighting. They called the Kryptonians. Like it was a beacon thing that they had for the Kryptonians. Like, hey, the Viltrumites are on their way. Do you mind coming and helping this planet? Which. There was no problem. Like the super people there. Then, Superman shows up. The real Superman, kind of thing. The strongest Kryptonian, kind of thing. And he starts whooping Viltrumites after another, until the strongest Viltrumite steps up. Like, the actual strongest. Not just the strongest, like, in, like, tactics and everything, because that's what this one is. Instead, it's the most brute force through everything, kind of. Viltrumite there is. And he manages to do it. It costs him... It costs altogether about 200 deaths in the war. But Deku was now a hero. The strongest Kryptonian Viltrumite. And while they had to stay on guard around the Viltrumites, the Kryptonians weren't really that much against them. Because if like one of their own saw peace in one... Then maybe they're not that bad. But in the end, 
It turns out that they have to fight and fight and fight throughout the entirety of the universe to win. And they do. In the end, it's just Deku alone waiting on his family to get back as he is the strongest one. You might be thinking, hey, didn't you like make this like a really long video just to make it like a real slow, real quick ending? Well, kinda. But if y'all want me to do like a redo of this, just tell me. If y'all don't, then don't. But yeah, Deku wanted to become the strongest, symbol of peace, everything. And he said goodbye to everything. He's still a hero, he has kids of his own, but when they get their powers, they can, can't even come close to keeping up with him. He's waiting on a proper challenge. His brother tried to always get strong enough to stop him. His sisters said they would always be there. His mother kept up, his other brother kept up, and his father always kept up. They all did their best to overwhelm him. But in the end, no one can individually take him down. In the, in the end, this is what their powers were. Strongest. Second strongest. Third strongest. Fourth strongest. And this entire group was about as strong... Was about... Is all weaker than that. If you're wondering why the guys are the strongest of them, except for Supergirl, that's because these are... Because they never really put the training time in. They have they more rely on their group effort in a fight. So Deku, he can take his brothers and his dad on in a three-on-one. He can even take his mom on in it with them as a 4v1. But he can also. But his main thing is that he has to take his sisters on in 7 versus 1, and it still doesn't really affect him. Until the point when his brothers and sisters only attack him, then it's a hard fight. But when the parents, then when the parents step in, it becomes a harder fight. And it takes all of them. It takes all 11 of them just to stop Deku if you ever went berserk. They have to go on a different planet to let loose. Because they're too powerful. And they would usually, but... Nah. They're too powerful. So, Deku just wound up living forever as it seems, until he dies of old age and bestowed everything with his power. And his power became energy. And throughout the universe, it was gifted. And this was called godly power. But -na, na If you're wondering what I mean by godly power, like, it chooses someone and then builds off of it. Like, Deku basically reincarnates all the time into someone new and gets the full power instantly like a kid is born boom full power and gets stronger the whole life and the life lasts for thousands of years and it just keeps going on and on and on until the extinction of the universe and then it's just that one just that one power and then Deku finally rests in peace once everything evil is gone, and he is dead. And that's all. Bye, guys.